There is a verdict in what's become known as the Black Swan trial. The ballerina accused of fatally shooting her husband sat stone faced as she learned she had been found guilty of manslaughter. Looking exhausted with dark circles under her eyes, the ballerina dubbed the Black Swan learns her fate in the shooting death of her estranged husband. Verdict. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is guilty of manslaughter. Ashley Benefield, the so-called black swan, after Natalie Portman's film character in the psychological thriller, showed no emotion after jurors found her guilty of manslaughter. This was a jury of five women and one man, and they had deliberated for about five, six hours. Then they sent a note to the judge saying that they were deadlocked. A short time after that, they came back with a guilty verdict of manslaughter. The dancer married Doug Benefield following a whirlwind 13-day romance. Ashley claimed her husband abused her and that she shot him in self-defense after he smacked her. I was scared. But prosecutors argued the shooting was premeditated so that Ashley could gain sole custody over their young daughter, who was seen outside the Florida courthouse holding a sign demanding, keep my mommy free. As the verdict was read, tears streamed down the face of Eva Benefield, the ballerina's stepdaughter. She posted her reaction on social media. She was convicted of manslaughter after four years of waiting. My dad got the justice that he deserves. Jim Murray spoke to Eva Benefield about her stepmother. She doesn't care about anybody but herself. She took a life away from a very loving man. It's unclear what happens to little Emerson, who no longer has a father or a mother to care for her. Now the former ballerina begins her new life behind bars. At her upcoming sentencing, Benefield faces up to 30 years in prison.